guys welcome back to my youtube channel now before i get going make sure to like this video subscribe and turn on those post notifications hello today i'll talk about the water cycle the water cycle shows the continuous movement of water within the earth and atmosphere it is a simple circular cycle of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. For evaporation to happen, energy is needed. The energy can come from any sources, the sun, the atmosphere, the earth, or objects on the earth, such as people. The process by which liquid water enters the atmosphere as water vapor is called evaporation. Through the help of the energy that I have mentioned earlier. Transpiration is the evaporation of water from plants through on the underside of leaves that are connected to vascular plant tissues which is called stomata. Next is the condensation process whereby water vapor in the atmosphere is changed into a liquid state. In the atmosphere, condensation may appear as clouds or dew. Finally, precipitation is the result when the small condensation particles grow too large. It precipitates back to earth in the form of rain, hail, snow, or sleet. Runoff takes place when the excessive precipitation and the ground cannot absorb any more water rivers and lakes are the outcomes of runoff evaporation of this runoff into the atmosphere starts the water cycle all over again thank you for watching our bible verse for today is from romans chapter 1 verse 16 for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Thank you! Shout out to my auntie that always watches my videos and like them. We accidentally met them in KFC. Again, shout out to my auntie, Jerasa, and her daughter. This is Sam saying life is wonderful with God. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you later in the next vlog. Bye!